Grand Theft Auto content. Oh, Grand Theft Auto 5, Casino Heist. Okay, I see you. Nice. This order ain't no thing but a chicken wing, though. So we're going to get in, get out, get going. Like, get go gas. Yeah. Lost one of my hobo gloves. I lost one of my gloves. How is it going, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, first things first, I wanted to throw out here, you guys. First off, I'm on Dashing Traders Live right now, so I'm trying to pay attention to that. But y'all, you guys, 810 subscribers? I went to sleep last night at 783. I lost two. I was at 785. I lost two. I went to bed. I woke up to my husband calling me, telling me that I hit 800. And from the moment I woke up till now, I'm at 810 subscribers, you guys. Thank you so much. My goal is to be at 1,000 by January 20th, and you guys are gonna make it happen. And thank you so much. So I did wanna throw out that I am planning some things to do a giveaway um, when I hit 1,000. So probably mid-February, I'll be doing a giveaway. Hold on. That's my other boy. Isn't he so precious? Uh, anyways, I'll be doing a giveaway February, around mid-February, you guys. I'm not sure. It'll probably be gift cards and stuff like that for all your guys' amazing support. Like, I just want to thank you so much. 810 subscribers. I did not think that that was going to happen. It's been such a slow road. I was low-key losing some motivation from, like, being stuck at 600 in 90 for so long i could not get past 700 to save my life and within that within a week i got over 100 you guys are amazing and if you are watching this and you are not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button because something about my thumbnail and title made you click on this video so go ahead and subscribe to my channel so thank you guys so much for that so we don't really have a plan for today we're just gonna let the day go we have a goal of $90. $90 today. Mr. Baby's pissed off. It's cold out here. We don't want to be out here forever, so... Alright, had to check on Mr. Baby and give him a snack. He's a little hangry. Anyways, we don't really have a plan for today. My goal is $90. We don't know what we're going to turn on. We're going to turn on all of them and just see what we can get. DoorDash is going to be a little iffy because I don't want to mess up my acceptance rate on there. So, um yeah so we're gonna try out spark spark is probably gonna be my go-to today but we're gonna do instacart spark doordash and uber so let's see how fast we can get to our 90 dollars goal we are at 402 on the dot right now and i don't want to be out any later than eight o'clock so if we can make 90 to 100 dollars in four hours i'm chilling with that so let's get it guys We are sitting at a 24 in the hot spot, Chipotle. So you guys, I'm gonna be a little bit on test with you. I've been declining some orders on the dash and I was gonna decline this order because it was the first one they sent me. It was $12 for 11, I mean, 11.75 for 12 something miles. I was gonna decline and it said, if you decline this, it's gonna bring your acceptance rate down from a 24 to a 23. I don't want my acceptance rate to go down, so I accepted it. So now we're about to drive some Dunkin' and let's see what they got. Ice latte, two lattes and a coconut refresher. So they're about to have some watered down, some watered down iced coffees because they decided to order it from 12 miles away when there's a Dunkin' right next to them. Who orders coffee on DoorDash anyways? I don't get that. Like, it's going to be watered down. I mean, it adds more flavor, I guess. You know, they got flavored ice, apparently, and it gives them more flavor. And we're about to go pick this up. It's not a pickup till 435, though. I am, though, I am 2.5 miles. So that makes it 10 miles, but still... It will bring me back over to my Walmart though, so whatever. We're trying to make $90 and also not mess up our acceptance rate. So let's go do the stupid order. I unassigned it. My completion rate is at a 93. I have good reason. I have good reason though. I do. 
I'm turning around, trying not to crash my car because I got me a $31 yeah, all yeah, these yeah. 4.2 miles for 40 things. I'm sorry, Dash. I really, really thought about it like, hmm, can I do both? No, I can't do both. And if it comes to me doing a $11 for 12 mile DoorDash order or a $31 all these order, I'm gonna do the all these order all day long. I'm sorry. They just sent that at really bad timing. They love to send you Instacart orders when you're pulling out, but you know what? It's 31 bucks. That's what, uh, my goal is 90. That's one third of the way there. I'm cool with it. Less mileage, more time, obviously, but I am not stressing. So we are headed right back to Aldi's because that's where I was originally parked when I got that DoorDash order. And we are gonna pause the dash, which I forgot to do. So let's hurry up and do that before they send me something. Pause the dash. And let's get this $31, you guys. Somebody does not wanna wake up. This order ain't no thing but a chicken wing though, so we're gonna get in, get out, get going, like get go gas. I used to love those things. You guys, for some reason, everything about that order was just treacherous and annoying. It took me 36 minutes. I was just so like scrambled and I don't know, couldn't find things that I usually can find. And I will say this and I don't care the backlash I get, but I hate organic ass people. I hate it. I hate it. Why do you tell me that I can put a replacement in for these things when I can't because you want organic stuff or gluten free or whatever. So like I did have to do a couple refunds, but we got everything loaded up or we're about to load everything up, about to load the kids up. And yeah, look how good you say, mommy, it's cold. Y'all, it is frigid temperatures out here. I just got everything loaded in and I can't find these receipts to scan. I don't know if I left them at the register or what, but ugh. it is so cold. It is cold. It is frigid temperatures right now. Let me look up the weather for you guys while I'm getting this round robin. Let me see what this round robin is. $36 for 5.6 miles. And it's not a pickup to, <sighs> I hate when Spark does this. All right, $36, 5.6 miles. Not a pickup till 5.45. I do it, but I'm not in that area. They keep sending me Walmart orders when I'm not in that area. I'm literally about to go 10 miles that way. Like, I don't know. Ooh, I almost talked to you guys. Anyways, it is cold. I couldn't find those receipts. It is cold. I went back in there to find my receipts just to come back to the car, going into a full rage fit about how I don't care if Instacart deactivates me because I don't have any receipts to scan. And they, and they were right here. So let's just go get this order dropped off. You know, I am so tired of bill collectors calling me like, why would I give you guys some random ass bill that I know nothing about? Quit calling my damn phone, making me think it's an Instacart customer or something like that. I just got the first order dropped off. She was two minutes away. She sat there hanging up her curtains while I'm standing out in the freezing cold. So I don't know about shopping orders today. Unless it's 40 plus, they ain't about to see me in these stores. It is cold dragging these kids out in the cold and everything like that. We might just stick to Uber Eats and Spark pickups today. Cause I'm not with it. I can't, I'm cold, I'm sad, my fingers, I can't feel them. I even busted out my hobo gloves and they ain't really working all that good. I don't like this today, but we are eight minutes. He can't feel his legs. We are on our way to the second drop off. It is eight minutes away. Let's get it guys. If only, if only I was on earn by time. Why is now today sucking here. like this? Why is it sucking like this? All right, you guys, I really didn't want to take another shopping order, but when duty calls, like this one here, we have to take it. Um, it's $36, it is 26 things, it says heavy items, it's two 35 packs of water. 
and some other stuff. So I'll just grab the water last and yeah, we'll just go ahead and get this done. It's five miles away and it says apartment, but it's not really an apartment. It's like one of those places where everything's like on the first floor. So <sighs> we're at Walmart now. It's so cold. Hopefully I don't have the same experience as I did in Aldi. Everybody's acting so uppity today. Like dank faces, all that other stuff. I'm just not with it, but this will bring us to $75 because that Aldi one came out to 39, the first lady upped her tip. Thank you, lady. Her name was Priscilla. I love that name. For those of you who know, no. Anyways, um, yeah, let's go grab this order. All right, you guys, that was all shopped. It wasn't that bad. It really wasn't, but, um, it's just so cold. You see my nose? Like, it's freezing. I lost one of my hobo gloves. I lost one of my gloves. I'm not having a very uh, cheerful day. The holidays are over, so the universe said, no, you get no more cheerful days. I just don't understand. I'm very upset I lost that glove, though. Oh, never mind. I found it. <laughs> All right, let's go get this dropped off. So get this, I went to go ahead and drop that order off that brought me to 35 or 75 for the day. And then that beautiful soul of a woman gave me a $15 cash tip. And you know what that means? 75 plus 15 is 90 and we made it to our goal in two orders. It took us two hours to get to $90. Well, technically three, cause it's about to be seven, but it took a, I love that beautiful soul. I could literally go home if I want. I probably will, quite honestly. But that was just amazing. Like, oh my gosh, I'm over here complaining all the other stuff. I feel so bad when I'm mad and it, my day is just going great. Literally $90 in two orders. Beautiful. I just wanna thank you guys for coming on this ride along with me. When the frigid temperatures and the freezing cold and the shopping and the babies and all that good stuff. You guys are the absolute best. Again, thank you so much for subscribing and engaging into the content and the likes and all of that good stuff. You guys do not understand how much I appreciate it and I will be giving back. Um, but I am gonna end the video here. We made our goal in less than four hours and I'm extremely happy about it because that was just something I was not expecting. Um, but I just want to thank you guys so much again for everything that you're doing. The likes, the comments, the subscribes, and all of that good stuff. I hope you guys had an amazing day and made lots of money. We all know Dashing Trader did. If you came to his live, I'm still talking about that. Give my $2 back, boy. But um, anyways, be safe, be warm, drive careful, and have a great rest of your day. I'll be back with another video real soon. Bye now. Oh, 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 oh,